and then to further the preparation phase let's create the property lines of our project so to create property lines punta lang tayo dito sa massing and site tab click and under the modify site panel let's click the property line command so we have two choices create by entering distance and bearings and create by sketch i have created a separate video for this option so for this for this tutorial let's create by sketching method click and now we're did now we're ready to sketch our property line you can see it here in the contextual tab so let's use the rectangle tool then let's create a region click here and here then let's press skip twice in the keyboard to exit the sketch and now let's specify our dimensions so first let's click the right sideline and then the temporary dimension will appear then let's click the temporary dimension and let's set it into 12 then here in the bottom line let's set it into 60 uh, 18 meters so we have a property line of 12 by 18 meters let's click check and now nagawa na yung property lines natin then let's discuss the elevations the elevations is this elevation views right here so ilapit natin sila sa property lines natin it's just like how you do in AutoCAD then this elevation right here is the south then here in the east the north and the east uh, west so let's rename them the south to front elevation the north to rear elevation <clears throat> and then the east to right side elevation and then the west to left side to rename this I just click the left uh, the view and then press F2 to rename okay so baka you are asking how I did this so that's it so click enter and now our elevation views is set into the right locations and our property line so that's it so that's it let's set now our levels to further the preparation phase to set the levels you can double click the front elevation or you can double click the elevation view here in the project browser so let's do it click uh, double click the front elevation to open the elevation view so here in the here in the elevation view let's create uh, let's add new levels click the architecture tab and then in the DTOM panel let's click the levels let's add levels click here in the bottom click and then leave levels here in the upper side click then press skip twice in the keyboard to exit the command now th that we have created our levels let's rename them so the level one click the line then click the name let's rename it to first floor level then click yes then the level 2 to second floor level the level 4 to roof level click yes and also the level 3 to finish grade level click yes now that we renamed them let's set their elevations the first floor level let's set it into 400 mm from the 00, 0 which is our natural grade level so the finish grade level let's set it into 
100 mm from 00. zero. So nagkapatong yung levels natin. So let's click the finish grade level and then punta tayo dito sa add elbow icon. Click it to create the elbow. Then click the grip. Let's move it. Then let's move it right here. Okay, so nakaset na yung first floor level natin and the finish grade line. So the second floor level is set it into 3 meters from the first floor level. So let's click the temporary dimension, change it into 3 meters. Also the roof level, click then temporary dimension appears, let's set it into 3 meters. So now nakaset na yung levels natin. And from, he, from here, we are ready to proceed to modeling phase. So this is what you do in the preparation phase. Let's go to the first floor level. And now we are ready to proceed into modeling phase. 